you know that oh it's not active then i check what is the problem then i can tell them okay after 2 hours after 1 hour or maybe 5 minutes right yeah so that i reduce i i that one old thing so use overview i want to check right use overview one person complained uh, i have a problem right so i want i have a problem blah blah something right so I want to first see whether he has logged in, right? And where he has logged in, which server? Then I will know where the problem is, right? And what he's trying to do, what command is he trying to use, right? All those things I can check by uh, SM04, right? And from where is he logged in? From the office or somewhere else, right? Everything I can check. Okay, gateway monitor, we'll talk about that. SMCM, we'll talk about that later. Updates, I can put all these things. You have to check all this and also workload how much workload the server has how much how many database accessors database read okay all those things you can check here right for the last five minutes for the last one month our last two months you can check before two months what happened workload everything is recorded right you can it's, it's, there, there are historical data saved in a file called table moni money right table money has all historical data so you can get from there and then see so these are the commands to check for some other commands to check for performance workload okay then you can check the buffers I told database buffers program buffer like that different different buffers are there what is the hit rate whether hit rate is more than 95 percent or hit rate is only 10 percent if rate 10 percent means something wrong your buffer is too small or maybe the programmer did not uh, the web programmer who wrote the program had a problem in the program is, is, fetch, is pulling the data but nothing is used right so something wrong with the program uh, something wrong with the data or maybe the buffer is not enough so you take action accordingly right then operating system operating system uh, things parameters or, or configuration you can check so f even though you are a basis administrator you have some authorization to work in the operating system level so you can check that right also you can have some authorization to work in the database level it doesn't mean you are a database administrator. It doesn't mean you are a Unix administrator or a Windows administrator. You have some rights in the Unix system, Windows system. You have some rights in the database that you can achieve through this, right? Mainly through this, right? This is SAP provided tools for you to go to the operating system, right? Then database, see database things also we can do process all these things all these things right apart from this you are involved in the first thing you are your performance related all what we saw are performance related some a little administration related apart from that you are responsible to configure the transport management system that means we have quality development system quality system production system like we have here so you develop things something in the development system so we will do in the class and then you release it and then go to quality system and then import it test it in the quality system thoroughly then release it then you go to the production and then import right so you have to do this work mainly and also you have to uh, configure the transport management system how to how it goes from here to here here to here like that right so the, some unit testing sometime you have to do right so that is your duty right then if they bring a new printer you have to you have to know how to set up a printer if the printer is working in the operating system level right you just connect to the uh, connect to any machine any any machine where sap is running or not running right then that machine will become a server it's a print server right then you can install the printer. If it is working in the operating system level, most probably it will work, right? Yeah, if it is not working, you can do some troubleshooting, right? Even fax machine, anything, right? Then print administration and also installing, upgrading, migrating, migrating. You, you are using SAP ECC 5. Now I want to migrate to 6. So migration, client copy, remote client copy. Uh, 
Uh, upgrade is fine, right? That that word is fine for that. Migrate may maybe something like this. I have SAP running on. Uh, no, that is called copy, homogeneous copy, heterogeneous copy. Like I have a server, and on the server I'm running Unix, Oracle database, and SAP. So I wanted to move to another machine which is running Linux, not Solaris, Linux, and then on top of that it running a database Oracle doesn't matter same database and then SAP same version of SAP so I want to copy this to that that is called heterogeneous copy because uh, operating system is different yeah. Yeah. homogeneous means 100% everything is same operating system database operating system database same then homogeneous right so those type of copies I have to do then I have to uh, add S nodes we will talk about S nodes later S nodes for small small bugs right then I have to install support packs support packs of group of bugs solved or I have to install support pack stack stacks or I install enhancement packs any additional new features enhancement fe enhanced feature features right sometimes they, they rather than releasing a new version of SAP they will uh, release enhancement pack which has some added functionalities so enhancement pack Right, so those are my duties as an SAP basis administrator. Okay, so we will take a short break, uh, ten minutes, and then continue. So, any questions so far? No questions, huh? No. Okay, then let me ask questions. Oh, no. Yeah. So, what are the three layers? Minimum three layers in SAP architecture. Presentation layer, application layer, and database layer. Good. So, where which layer is used by the users to log in? Presentation. Uh, which is the uh, which in which layer all the information is saved? Saved in the database. Yeah. Where where do the applications run? Application server. The application layer. Okay. And what are what are the necessary yeah what are the necessary what are the minimum necessary requirement to log in into an SAP system? The SID, yeah. application server, and the router string. And SAP router string. Router string router string is not minimum. Uh, SID is minimum. Instance number is minimum, and the host instance name is number, minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one second. So, shall I ask another question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is uh, SID? What is SID? System ID. System ID identification for a SAP system. That is the yeah. identification, that is how we identify an SAP system, right? What is the host name? System name? server where the operating system is installed the operating system name right so after I install SAP in a server uh, is it right to change the uh, system name or system ID no, you put that in. excuse me uh, after after installing a server is yeah. it is it right to change the system name or system ID No, because whenever we install a server, we go to SAP Solution Manager and we give information about the server, like the SID, okay. host name, uh, instance number, everything. And then the server will create a Solution Manager key. The Solution Manager will create a Solution Manager key that we have to give during the installation. So once we give that, then we cannot change, right? Uh, what work process helps people to log in? Um, dialogue. Dialogue work process. Uh, can five dialogue work process serve 20 people? Yes. Sure. Yes. Access, huh? Yes. But five cannot serve thousands, right? Yeah. Then you have to increase yeah. the dialogue process. Uh, okay, additional question, which I didn't teach, right? How many dialogue process you can have maximum in a SAP? SAP application server. 
Six. No, maximum. Nine. Maximum. Nine. Maximum, no, more than that. Hundred. Hundred. Okay. What is the purpose of background work process? Background is for if you have, uh, if the process needs to, if it takes so long, then it's the background that. Background work process is for for background jobs, that yeah. controls the background jobs, right? That 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 does the background jobs. So if if you feel the job is going to take a long time, yeah. right? Then you have you are supposed to put it in the background. Right yeah. during the during the creation, you will have an option, or I can manage background jobs using a T code SM thirty seven. Right? Yeah. Yeah. How will I know whether all my servers are running? Uh, go to SM. What is that? SM zero four. No, SM zero four will show the people are logged in. Yeah, SM fifty. SM51. Yeah. <laughs> SM51. How do you create RFC connections? What command? What T code? RFC, RFC? connection. Yeah. What T code? SM59. SM59. Okay. SM59. When I log in into the SAP system, I will get a menu, right? How do you call that menu? By default, I get a menu. What is? How do you call that uh, screen? Sub Sorry. SAP EC access. SAP EC access screen, right? Yeah. That's a screen which I get by default unless I go and change somewhere, right? If I want, I can set up a system in such a way when I log in, I get a different screen, right? Yeah. Can I change the picture on the right hand side for every user in the, in the SAP? No. <laughs> can I change the top menu items? Top menu? No. Top menu items? No, I cannot change those. Right, good. So now we will come to another session.